Hello my loves, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? We have the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords. There could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in the mix. This person has been fantasizing about this Queen of Swords energy. Page of Cups, they're going to ask Collective, the Judgment card here. Yeah. This person's going to ask you to make a decision that they're going to try to sweet talk you into making the decision that they want you to make, okay? <clears throat> With the devil and the five of swords. Collective, if you say yes to this, you have no idea the hell that you would be inviting into your relationship. We could be dealing with a Sag or a Capricorn. This is someone that's going to try to manipulate you and play mind games to get what they want. Tell me about the collective, please. We've got the Hierophant and the King of Cups. This You could be married to this person or collective. This person could be telling you, listen, you know that I love you, that I'm going to marry you, that I'm loyal to you and only you. We could be dealing with a Taurus. <coughs> This person's going to try to convince you that, you know, they're loyal to you and only you. But with the Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, that this is something that they really want. And that, you know, if you want high levels of commitment with them, then you have to make them happy. Temperance and the Hermit, I feel like you're going to tell this person you need time to think about it. You're going to tell this person you need time to think about it. The King of Pentacles and the Lover's Card Collective. This is someone that is saying, listen, you know, I really want to be with you. I want to marry you. I want long term with you. But every once in a while, you know, we need to bring someone else into the bedroom. And I feel that, you know, there's going to be a lot of talk here with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands about marriage. If you're already married, this person's just going to try to convince you, I'm yours. I already belong to you. We're married. Where am I going? Or collective, if you're not married, this person's going to use marriage as bait. Like if I'm going to marry you and I'm going to be with you long term, I need to know that you trust me and that you're open to these things. The Tower and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like first and foremost, you're going to be shocked <coughs> because this person already has a friend in mind. Okay, this is not someone... From what I'm understanding, from what I'm understanding, I mean, I've never done this personally, but from what I'm understanding that couples that do this type of thing, you know, they go on, you know, dating websites or, you know, they both choose an outside person together and they invite that person into the bedroom. From what I'm understanding, that's how it works, right? That's not this scenario, okay? This is not someone saying, hey, listen, babe, you know, what do you think about spicing up our bed life, our, our sex life and inviting... Some no, this person's like, oh, no, I want I want Jennifer or, I, you know, no, I want Mike or, you know, let's bring Tracy on in here and see, you know what I'm saying? This is someone that, you know, uh, already has a name. They've already been fantasizing about somebody and it's either a friend of yours or a friend of theirs, Okay. And I feel like, you know, you're going to be shocked because with the three of pentacles, this person like already knows you're sitting here with 10 of cups and four of pentacles energy collective where, you know, you've been happy. Things have been going good in the connection. You know, you really love this person. <coughs> and with the four of pentacles, you're sitting in a little bit of a jealous and possessive energy where you don't want anyone else, you know, you don't want anything to come in between that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like things have been working, things have been good, and you don't want anyone, you know, you don't want anything to mess it up. You want to hold on to the connection that you have, okay? But with the star card here and the seven of cups, this is someone that has been already longing for this third party. Do you understand? With the hanged man here, 
with the hanged man here, I feel like this person has been waiting to lay this news on you, but they've already premeditated this, okay? Have the, has, has the Queen of Swords and the Collective's person been talking about this? The Sun, the Queen of Swords already knows. Ladies and gentlemen, the Queen of Swords already knows. Your person has already asked the Queen of Swords if they would do this, and the Queen of Swords said yes. So now they're coming to you to get you on board. Page of Cups and the Emperor. This is a very dominant energy. It's a very pushy energy. And this is someone that wants you to choose to have, with the Three of Swords, a threesome. The Devil and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone that's going to tempt you with a ring if you're not already married. Okay, this is somebody that wants to invite this third party in. With the Five of Swords and the Strength card, it's not going to be very easy to convince you of this because with the Strength card, I feel like you're you're pulling away from this. You're standing your ground. But with the Five of Swords, this person could get mad and angry and try to intimidate you into this. Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant, I don't understand what the big deal is. You know I'm going to marry you or we're already married. I belong to you. You know what I'm saying? Six of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. You know I don't want anyone else but you. You know I love you and I don't want anyone else but you. But at the same time, with the Ace of Swords and the Chariot, do you see what I'm saying? This is someone that has been taking action towards a third party with the High Priestess in secret, in secret, wanting to sleep with this person. And with the Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, the fact that this Emperor energy is pushing this so badly, it's already starting to spark feelings <coughs> of jealousy within you. We've got the Empress and the Hermit here. So I'm, I'm, what I'm feeling here, guys, is, you know, you guys could already be married to this person or engaged. You know, you guys may have children together. I don't know. But there's an energy of, you know, with that Hermit, someone here pulling back and really analyzing this. And it, it should just be... You know, like, you understand with the King of Swords, someone asking a question, right? You know, the, this person's coming forward asking you a question. But if you say, I'm not comfortable with it, it should just be a dead issue. You know, that's it. We're done, you know? But the fact that this person is so adamant and, and bullying you, I'm getting an energy of bullying you into making a decision. Do you understand? Tell me about temperance here. And the Eight of Swords. I, I feel like you're trying to hold this off. Do you understand? Like you're trying to procrastinate an answer. Do you understand? This King of Pentacles energy slash Emperor energy or whatever. This is someone that, you know, you're supposed to be in a solid commitment. And with the Three of Cups here and the Seven of Swords. To be honest with you. I hate to say it, Collective. But I think that these two have already done the deed. I feel like your person has already slept with this Queen of Swords energy. And with the Ace of Cups, I kind of feel like your person caught feelings for this Queen of Swords energy. So I don't think that this is just a vibe of a one-time threesome. I think what this person is trying to do is actually like, date you both at the same time like this person is trying to move the queen of swords into your household like this is someone that's trying to you know uh what is it polygamy or something like that they are trying to you understand <clears throat> i think this person's trying to bring this queen of swords in full time ace of wands and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like these two had sex one time and feelings developed. Feelings developed. Tell me about the Four of Wands here and the Four of Swords. I don't feel like this person wants a divorce. <clears throat> I feel like this person wants to stay married, but they want everything. Do you understand what I'm saying? They want it. They want it all. It could be that with the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups, this is this person's childhood friend. Or it could be that, you know, these two have slept together in the past previously. 
you could have children with this person. Tell me about the tower, please. And the two of cups. I feel like because of the way this person is acting with pushing to have this third party in, it's going to hit you that your person is in love or is crushing on this third party. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Tell me about this friend. <clears throat> We've got the justice card and the king of wands. Your person is trying to be very convincing and saying, you know, they're just a friend. You know, I'm married to you and only you, you know. This person with the six of swords and the five of pentacles may threaten to leave you. This person may threaten to leave you. The Knight of Swords. I feel that collective, if you say yes to this, if you say yes to this, I feel like what's going to happen during this threesome is these two are going at it and you're just going to end up leaving the room. Ten of Wands, you're not going to be able to handle <clears throat> what you're seeing. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to handle what you're seeing and you're just going to end up leaving the room. Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. You will regret this. You will regret it because you won't be able to forget seeing these two having sex together. Page of Swords and the Fool. You won't be able to forget seeing these two fooling around. Do you understand what I'm saying? If the collective says yes to this, will this destroy this connection? Page of Swords and the Fool card. First of all, you're going to realize that these two are way too comfortable with being together. And you're going to know that these two have been together before. I, I feel like it's going to lead to a disaster with the Ten of Swords. And I feel like with the Page of... I'm sorry, with the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Hierophant. I, I, end, I, feel, like, I feel like if you allow this, that these two are going to end up together. The Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. If you allow... To, if you allow someone else in your bedroom, these two are going to end up together because you're not Queen of Swords and the <coughs> Two of Swords. <coughs> After this threesome, you're never going to want to see this friend again. You're never going to want them in your house again. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's not going to work for the person that you're with at all. It will create an ending. Yeah. So please be warned. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Hope you enjoyed.